and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're gonna invite you to Downtown Hampton's Holiday Celebration. Here to tell you all about it is Seamus McGran from the History Museum. Welcome back. Hey, it's nice to be here. Thanks for having me back. Love your Christmas sweater. Oh, thank you. It could you. be a thank little more know. outlandish, though, I think. Oh, well, that, you That's know, a very tasteful, subtle well, one. Well, you know, it's, it's about 38 years old, too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But, uh, well, thanks for having me back on. I appreciate it. Yeah, so... Holidays weekend this mm -hmm. year is, you better tell the dates because I'll well, mess them up. Well, things really kick off in downtown Hampton with the Lighted Boat Parade that the uh, Downtown Development uh, Partnership puts together. And I believe that's at 7 p.m. Um, but you should check out their page for mm -hmm. all the details and where the best places are to see the lighted boats. If you've never been, it is a lot of fun. I think it is such a wonderful addition because it, you know, helps remind people Hampton is a waterfront community. Mm -hmm. we're, we're here initially mm -hmm. 400, well, m way more than 400 years ago mm -hmm. um, when the native people were here, but because of the water. It's mm -hmm. food, it's navigation, it is trade, it is the heart of who we are. And you can enjoy all that uh, these days still. Mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of great places to eat and dine yeah, and drink. Come and early, get something. Hear music, yeah. So that's really how it's going to um, start off uh, the, the weekend. Um, lots of different boats, different uh, themes. They're so um, fun, too. It is like those really Those people are fun. having a good time. And it's <laughs> competitive. It, it's competitive. Oh, so yeah. these folks go all out. And so there's great uh, narration and, and music and everything. So come out and enjoy that on uh, Friday night. That um, Friday night, the what? The, thir the 13th. Friday okay. the 13th. Hey, but fun. it's a lucky Friday the 13th <laughs> for some lighted boat owner. Um, and then uh, on that Saturday, Saturday the 14th, uh, we have the Holidays Open House at the Hampton History Museum. And so that's 10. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, it, what does that mean, open house? What, what well, will we see? Well, it's free, and so oh, that's part of yeah. what's great about it, um, because you can see the exhibitions, um, but we've got lots of special things going on that day. Um, great music. Um, the uh, New Sound Alliance um, uh, will kick things off at 10 a.m. Um, they're a great band. Um, they do the best uh, Feliz Navidad that I've ever heard, and every year when I hear it, it's like, okay, the holidays have finally begun for Seamus McCran. That is um, so fun. Yeah. So Seamus, for you, it's Feliz Navidad that, that makes the holiday, right? Gets well, you filled with that spirit? Well, it, re it really does. I mean, it's, it's fun, it's, fe it's festive, uh, so yeah. I really love it, but it's great music throughout the day. Um, uh, last year, we partnered with Liberty Live Church, and they brought their carolers in, their woodwinds, and their brass ensemble to perform all types of Christmas music throughout the day, um, and really, um, you know, brings you back to that old-fashioned Christmas with those carols. You can join if, in if you want, but they've got some uh, marvelous voices there. Um, and then um, the LCV uh, Music Project uh, will ca uh, close it out uh, as far as music goes um, uh, later on in the day. So it's going to be acoustic, um, really, uh, you know, jazzy sort of uh, low-key um, Christmas music. So different types of Christmas music throughout the day. But heirloom ornament making, which is lots of fun, not just for kids, but parents. We get to do it too. Yes, yes. <laughs> and these are great different types of um, nostalgic ornaments to make that uh, you can put on your trees. You will cherish for years to come. Uh, people come back year after year and make different ornaments with us. So, oh, nice. yeah, so that's something to keep and, um, and you know, remember uh, these, uh, these times you shared together. Um, we're also going to have great train displays um, that you can enjoy. And there's going to be over at the Hampton Carousel. The historic Hampton Carousel is all decked out for the season. We began win Winter Whimsy, which is already uh, going on. So the, the carousel is completely uh, decorated. The horses are all adorned um, in different ways. So right now you can go um, uh, Monday, or sorry, Sunday through, uh, or Tuesday through Sunday, uh, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. So we're open at night. So you can ride the carousel and get a free candy cane. 
But on December 14th, we're doing something very special. We're going to have selfies with Santa. Santa and Mrs. Claus will be there from 1 to 6 p.m. And you can um, snap a selfie with Santa. Mrs. Claus will give you a candy cane. But on the 14th, from 1 to 6 p.m., you can ride that carousel for free. And that's uh, not only a gift that we want to give to the community, but we want you to come down, enjoy the museum and the carousel, and then stick around for the Hampton Holidays Parade. Right. So there's all these things to do all day. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you can also shop a little bit. Let's mm -hmm. not forget that. Yep. But at the museum, then at the carousel, then when you guys shut down, Parks and Rec takes over. Yeah. Parks and Rec puts on an amazing uh, parade every year. This year, we're going to be celebrating the 20th anniversary of the International Children's Festival. So the theme is Christmas around the world, holidays around the world. Uh, so that's something that is going to be really different that everyone will enjoy. Yeah, I don't rem remember a theme like that at all. So this will bring out some really different uh, kinds of floats and stuff. Oh, I'm I sure think. it'll really challenge the float designers to represent different cultures and different uh, stories from around the world. So that's going to be something to, to really enjoy. And um, I forgot to mention, but uh, you can also get your face painted at the museum or the carousel. And um, so you can be adorned yourself, decorated. <laughs> for your for, selfie. For your selfie and for the parade. So that's, uh, so that's something else to do. And, um, you know, it's, it's still amazing to me that Hampton, which is not a huge city, has a um, three holiday parades. And they're very distinctive. I mean, mm -hmm. Coliseum Central's is early in the season. It's got the big floats. Mm -hmm. It's um, kind of the extravaganza. Um, the boat lighted boat parade mm -hmm. is is just unique. I it mean, is. you know, you don't have the marching bands, but you've got beautiful lights and fun music coming mm -hmm. from some of the boats, and it's you know kind of celebrates Hampton. And then you have the the marching parade. It's lighted. You've got the floats with mm -hmm. lights. It's just really um, different experiences, all of them. Well, and and. It really gives you that sense of community, too. Yeah. I mean, with the people that, that are going to be in the Holidays Parade, especially with this year's theme, that you'll see different, you know, different groups, different bands. And lots of kids. Lots of kids. It's really, it's really fun. To, I always like to see different generations doing things together. That's one of the things I like about our open house is, you know, grandparents will come with their kids and then their grandkids. Um, and do things together and make things together and it's really one of those times where you, you get that sense of community and, and belonging and so it's something that I like to do. Speaking of which, during your open house would be the perfect time to purchase a membership for a family so they can come back and come back and come back. Well it is it, the family, or for grandparents to or take, for grandparents. Yeah. There, we do have grandparent um, memberships, so you know. Then again, all the generations can come together. Our our couples memberships, or even and, an individual membership. You know, not that I don't do it just to support the museum, but. I save money <laughs> yeah. because I go to so many of your front porch series right. music events right. that my membership is, you know, completely. That's it would cost it. me more to pay each time I go. That's it. I mean, each month you get a great concert. Speaking of which, you're going to get a very special concert this month. Uh, in December 18th, we have uh, a very uh, unusual event, a country Christmas spectacular. Uh, something that has been cooked up by our friend Missy with uh, the grunge grass band Tornado Bait has invited a number of different guest musicians in really top drawer entertainment. Um, Roebuck, which is a really uh, cool band, yeah, if you've ever yeah. had a chance to uh, see them. Um, Katie Teardrop, another wonderful musician. Uh, Jenna Dalmas from the Cow Tipping Playboys. I mean, incredible voice. Um, uh, incredible musician and Frank Green. So they're going to be. Um, I've been calling it kind of uh, like hee haw and acid um, <laughs> type thing. So it's it's going to be, you know, country themed um, holiday music, um, but with it's, a little twist. With a little twist. Um, but then also comedy, um, a lot of audience interactive stuff, and it's a great time to bring the kids again too. Really Seamus, is this going to fit? in your 
um, the room that you have these concerts in? Well, it's the holidays. It's a holiday miracle to get <laughs> all of these musicians, all of our guests into the, uh, the Great Hall um, for this evening I'm of fun. I'm still going to say come early. Uh, Always do, because uh, we do, I mean, we do fill up sometimes. Mm -hmm. So get there early. Um, we'll have uh, beer and wine, soft drinks uh, available for purchase to help support the museum. But I, I love the fact that you brought up membership. It's not only do you get the concerts, you get great lectures. Yeah, um, yeah. Each month we've got wonderful historians, scholars, community historians, authors, authors yeah. to talk about um, of different things. And, um, and those are always enlightening and entertaining as well. Well, and it's nice a mix of, you know, the scholarly professor, researcher types mm -hmm. and people with the oral histories. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you get a lot of perspectives. Right. We have a lot of great community historians in this town. We'd be lost without them. Um, that, uh, you know, we'll talk about Buckrow or Phoebus or a number of different subjects that they really uh, are passionate about and invested, uh, you know, their time and energy in. Bring great images that you will never see uh, anywhere else uh, to really talk about what life used to be like here, but then for a lot of people, bring back memories that mm -hmm. uh, those of us who haven't lived here all our life just, you know, I love hearing those, those stories. So yeah, I do it's too. good fun. Okay, well, thank you. Do you have anything else to add? Gosh, I think uh, check us out at uh, www.hamptonhistorymuseum.org. Always check us out on Facebook. There's stuff going on all the time, Instagram and Twitter. You're busy. You I know you're busy. Yeah, but it's fun. Okay. Thanks so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching. I hope I will see you at one or all of the events for Hampton Holidays. It should be a great weekend. And do think about History Museum memberships, even Community Center, Rec Center memberships. There's a great opportunity to give people something that is a gift that lasts all year. Thanks for watching.